but you're like a good like Dominican. Oh! She's a blogger. We're Martha. We're gonna make it onto the page. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sitting right in front of my AC. If you hear the loud noise, that's what that is. But today we're starting a three-day trip. And where are we going? You read it right from the title, Santiago. We're spending 24 hours there. We leave today by 8.30. I have to be at the airport by 7.30. It is 6.04. I was on reserve for four days. They didn't use me yesterday at all. But today, they definitely called me around 4.30 something. So I had to like quickly start getting ready. I didn't even have a chance to take a nap or anything like that. So pray for your girl. Today's not a red eye trip, but coming back, is gonna be a red eye. So I don't care. 24 hours in DR getting paid for it. Let's go. It is 2.30 in the morning. We were delayed, but let me give you a room tour. So you come in, mirror, and then we have a little dresser situation with the coffee makers. Nice little TV here, seating area, a big bed, which I love. Another table, bathroom, they even got a scale. Okay. And then a shower so pretty basic let's see if we have a view let's see. Mm -mm. no view guys not this time we don't have a view today but i am gonna get ready because we're gonna meet in like 20 minutes and we're gonna do something oh my god the lighting here really bad but we're gonna do something i'm not sure what is either some rooftop bar or eat and then the rooftop so we'll figure it out let me get undressed and freshen up Just the last one's long. <laughs> it's 4.36 a.m. A few inches later. We're going to Supermercado Central, right? Yes. Uh, outdoor market with a good food court. Let's see how it is. Yeah, what the time is it? It's, it's Girl. 5 a.m. It is 5 a.m. <laughs> to STI no, no, no. It's happening. I see. Wait. It's happening. No way they can. Oh. Oh. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Can you see this?
This is huge. Oh my God, it's daytime. I don't know why I'm so surprised, but it's daytime. Daytime. Welcome to my country. Our country, well. Well, it's. I don't want to go back to the hotel. My I don't family. Wanna, I don't want to say it, but you're like a bootleg Dominican. I am. You're like more American. I am. <laughs> they took my Dominican card away a long time ago. What's your sign and what sign broke your heart? My sign is an Aries, and a Virgo broke my heart, but myself fixed my heart. Period. <laughs> I'm a Leo. And what sign broke your heart? Oh, my my own sign broke my heart because I broke my own heart. I'm a Leo. Yeah. I know. That's, a, that's a solid answer though. <laughs> I broke my own heart. And I'm a Virgo. And look at how a Pisces broke my heart. All right, guys. So we made it back to the hotel. I just took a shower, and we're gonna go to the pool. Yeah, I was trying to see if there's a view, but there's no view. It's like so foggy. I have not slept in over 24 hours. Going strong. Going strong. You don't sleep when you're in a Caribbean island. Oh my god, guys, I'm back in the room. I am freaking beat. It's 10 28 a.m. I'm gonna nap now and then we're gonna meet up around 3 30, 4 o'clock and we're gonna get right back into the activities. But for now, I'm tapping out. We all tapping out. I'll catch you guys in a few seconds. All right, guys, I'm ready. So we're gonna go to the Monumento. See you guys there.
missing the history class. I'm missing the history class. Say it again. <laughs> so once upon a time, there were like a lot of people, like throughout like a long time, and each of them like actually had an influence, and then they have a statue. practice i hate to get the seats in the bins wet but that's how good your ass is make an old man get his glasses this is my childhood then follow your moves all week on twitter probably make a gay nigga reconsider you know i go with the best man dress game down to the sex game won't grab with the boy been every time i take a trip i always say like oh my god this was amazing but I think every trip so far that I've taken and that, that I've shown you guys, it's just like a different level of gratitude that I feel. And it's just like the people that I've spent this trip with was like so awesome. Every single one, like individually. I feel like we've been here for an entire week and that's what happens when you're around good company. So if you guys ever see this, thank you for being so amazing. and wanting to explore and giving the hot dog a try because i kept nagging them i'm like listen before we leave we have to get hot dog like that is a tradition of mine that i will continue to do all right guys i'm gonna take a nap i'll touch base after this that's a wrap it is the end of this amazing 24 hours in santiago but before I go, I have been doing this whole thing with my crew where I it's called like confessions of a flight attendant. And it's like personal questions and you know, things that might come across your mind while in the field. So I'm gonna ask them a question for the last time. And this time I'm gonna re uh, record their responses because I think it'll be an awesome question and answer for you guys so we're gonna go to the crew lounge that they have here in the hotel i'm gonna get some coffee and then i'm gonna ask the questions
the question is what advice would you give someone going to training stay focused uh, don't go ahead and don't fall behind but just stay on what you learned that day day of so that when the test comes the next day you're not you're, you're still on the same page as the instructor because if you go too far ahead like some people do then you just get all confused stay calm and don't freak out and like because then if you lose your confidence you get everything wrong and then you're like mm -hmm. stay focused and be confident that you're gonna pass don't go ahead of what they're teaching you they're teaching you in that way for a reason but trust in yourself because if you start getting anxiety and panicking that's you're gonna just self self sabotage take it day by day <laughs> do not go too deep in the future because they're gonna give you what you need to know and give you the tools that you need when you need them so putting that extra pressure is a waste of time and energy and spirit so just take it day by day and enjoy it